Matthew 24, verse 30. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. Why? For they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. Every eye will see Him. That is the scope of His coming. Every eye will see Him. It is visible. Well, I got news for you. When He comes in, you're going to know He's there. You're going to know He's around. Picture Christ coming back like a thief in a night cane. Riding a white horse with the force of a night train. The heavens open, behold, and overthrowing your dice game. With His pure and holy vision, eyes blazing, just light flame. And nothing can escape the penetration of His holy gaze. His eyes in all places recognize an unholy way. On His head of many diadems and victory crowns. Who's the victor fit to be crowned in human history now? With a name written all over Him that nobody knows. Clothed in a robe, soaked in the blood of His foes. Symbolizing a battle won with Satan sin in the grave Death has no more strength Heaven's armies arrayed in fine linen White and pure following him on them white horses The word of God from his mouth is a short sword Who can thwart Lord your divine report cord The report the hearts of the nations that failed on When Jesus came the first time He was falsely accused He was reviled He was rejected He was tortured He was treated like a criminal He was hung up on a cross and killed He's coming back to clear his name. Look over at Matthew 26. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. In the scriptures we find facts. Pictures of divine acts. Prophesy God provides wisdom the mind lacks. The history's climax. More vivid than IMAX. The sky cracks with Jesus on some. I'm back. Now, just try to visualize. Yeah. The most glorious sight ever to hit physical eyes. Uh -huh. Holy angels in Christ who gets minimalized. His splendor arrives. All the dead in him will arise Believers who are alive become a maturated order yeah. And caught up in the clouds like evaporated water To be captivated by the master's grace and aura Before he activates the slaughter on the cats who hate the Torah The fire wilding out and out and wouldn't call on him okay. And now crying out for the mountains to fall on him The dead come out the grave at the holy judge they look Look, they're broken up and shook while he opens up the books Where all sin will be weighed, not ignored And law breaking slayed by the sword on the day of the Lord While we gaze and admire his greatness, liars and fakes who hate Messiah expire in the fiery lake. Come on, faith for Satan and his angels sent to deceive multitudes who refuse to repent and believe. The elect have no hell to fear. Why? Cause we related to the judge like the fresh prince of Bel Air. Yeah. Listen, there is coming a time in God's providence and in God's plan when he is going to once and for all finally do away with Satan and with the angels that followed Satan in his rebellion, those non-elect angels, those demons, God will deal with them all in some degree. In the scriptures we find facts, Christians and God's wrath, two different paths and never cross the cross by the divine path, the wicked had a mind last, persistent till the time died, the cataclysmic catastrophic judgment turned the skies black, yes. no date setting, clock watching a time seeking, uh -huh. only the father can bother with the divine secret, yeah. not even Jesus is time peaking, but I'm speaking of his humanity, every man When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, dealing out retribution to those who do not know God and to those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. Salvation is obeying the gospel. Refusing to obey the gospel results in judgment. Obey the gospel. And these will pay the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power when He comes to be glorified in His saints on that day and to be marveled at among all those who have believed for our testimony to you was believed. So He's going to come. He is going to judge the ungodly. And the Bible says those of us who are saved, we are going to marvel. 
This is going to be an amazing thing. He could be coming back tonight.